There's been a further victory for Nigel Farage over the debanking scandal. The FCA has warned the country's biggest banks to treat customers who are politicians as well as their families more fairly and not to discriminate against them owing to their status as politically exposed persons. It is further proof of Farage's vindication and that he should be commended for drawing attention to this issue. At the time, the government promised a law to make it harder to debank, which received cross-party support and had its statutory instrument drafted. The snap election disrupted this. It is now important that the new government acts to continue the process and see the right to be free from banks' political discrimination enshrined in law. Well, with me now is the General Secretary of the Free Speech Union, Mr Toby Young. Um, Toby, it was very good to have a leading trade unionist or free speech unionist with us. Um, how big a victory is this and is the FCA's decision important? It is important, Jacob, and we should certainly welcome it. Um, the FCA, um, uh, about uh, six months ago, decided that actually debanking wasn't happening um, and they didn't need to do anything about it. They haven't exactly done a U-turn, but this is specifically about politically exposed persons, uh, that is, politicians, would-be politicians, members of politicians' families. So there was one extraordinary incident in which... Um, Lord Forsyth, the Conservative politician, his daughter was told by Coots to find another bank just because she was his daughter. She was the daughter of a politically exposed person. So um, the Financial Conduct Authority has said banks have to treat politically exposed persons um, more fairly. And that's, that, that, that's great news. But um, we also want them to treat everyone else more fairly too and to stop debanking people, whether they're politically prominent or not, because they disapprove of their political views. And as you say, we need to bring pressure now on the current Labour government to make good on what the last government promised to do, which was to amend the payment services regulations to make debanking of ordinary people more difficult. And do you think that's going to happen? Have you heard anything from your sources within the Labour Party that they might be pushing ahead with this, or will they put it on the back burner? Well... The Free Speech Union is going to write to Tulip Sadiq, who is the um, Economic Secretary to the Treasury and the City Minister. Um, it's very much a matter for her. Um, and uh, the Treasury were on side. Um, we had some very productive conversations with her Conservative counterpart, Andrew Griffith, um, and uh, the Treasury had drafted the statutory instrument necessary to amend the payment services regulations and were about to lay that statutory instrument when Rishi Sunak called the snap election. The election. So but the opposition the has come from the Home Office, hasn't it, which um, always wants to take every possible part of the state and have it as unaccountable as possible. So the Treasury was very good on this, but the Home Office was pretty dreadful. I think that's right, Jacob. Um, and uh, I guess it will partly depend on um, uh, whether the Treasury can prevail over the Home Office on this particular issue under Labour. Ultimately, it's probably a decision that will be made by Number 10 Downing Street. But as you said in your introduction, um, the measure did have cross-party support. It's not a partisan issue. Um, Labour, people with people with um, left-wing views have been debanked, just as people as with well. right-wing well, views have been debanked. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for your nice piece in The Spectator about me and um, the rees family generally today. Uh, the Financial Conduct Authority's Executive Director of Markets and International, Sarah Pritchard, said... Public service naturally comes with greater scrutiny, but it must be proportionate and shouldn't disadvantage people running for office. That requires a balancing act. We're following up with those firms that we're getting the balance wrong to ensure they make changes. Gosh, these official statements are so wonderfully bureaucratic.